Hello class. So for writing today, you're going to be combining sentences. All right. So good writers avoid strings of short, choppy sentences. You can combine sentences with related ideas to vary sentence length and style, style and length. All right. When the ideas in sentences are related and equally important, you can join them with a coordinating conjunction, such as and, but, or, or so. Use a comma before the conjunction if each idea is a complete sentence. So we have a choppy example. Our class is putting on a play. I want to be the lion. The better version of it is our class is putting on a play and I want to be the lion. Do you see how that sounded better? All right, our next example, the choppy version, I love to perform. I get nervous. I breathe deeply to relax. The better version, I love to perform but get nervous. So I breathe deeply to relax. You see how that sounds better? All right. When one idea is more important than the other, you can join them with a subordinating conjunction, such as when, because, although, or unless. If the clause with the conjunction comes first in the new sentence, use a comma after the, that clause. So the choppy version, I'll be very excited tomorrow. I find out which part I got. The better version, I'll be very excited tomorrow when I find out which part I got. See how it sounds better? Our second example, the choppy version, Owen us usually gets the lead part. He has a great voice. The better version is, because Owen has a great voice, he usually gets the lead part. You see how that sounds better? So sometimes reading the sentence out loud to yourself or in your head can help you. All right, let's move to our guided practice. So we're going to underline the pairs of sentences that we're going to combine, and then we're going to rewrite the paragraph on another sheet of paper, my little box here. So we're going to use all the conjunctions in the box, okay? So first, um, you can use a conjunction to combine sentences. You can also use a conjunction to combine just the subjects or the predicates of two sentences, all right? So, um, we needed a dog to play Toto. My terrier Angus got the part. All right, we're going to use that and we're going to rewrite it. My terrier Angus got that part when we needed a dog to play Toto. All right, Angus trotted onto the stage. We all knew a star was born. All right, we're going to use those two. We're going to rewrite it as Angus tr trotted onto the sta stage, typo, and we all knew a star was born. All right. Angus had never been in a play. I wasn't sure how we would be, he would behave. All right. Angus had never been in a play, so I wasn't sure how he would behave. He might follow directions. He might just run off the stage. All right. He might follow directions or just run off the stage. Luckily, Angus was perfect. He didn't like sitting in Dorothy's baskets. Combining those two. Luckily, Angus was perfect, although he didn't like sitting in Dorothy's basket. So you see how we corrected that, combining the sentences, and it sounds much better. Now, if I were to go back and correct this again, I would need to correct my typo. Okay, make it say the correct word. All right, so let me know if you have any questions.